Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show the concept for this door that I showcased last time. So be sure to watch the showcase first. So basically, there are few people who wanted to know how this works. And someone wanted a world download. I don't know how to give world download. So for that person, I'm gonna show the concept so you can build one by yourself. So basically, what this is, is just the flying machine pushing everything down, and then a trap door and a flying machine pushing everything up. Basically, you're pushing the piston wall thingy down and then pushing it back up. That's all this piston door is. It's not a, nearly as complicated as look. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm actually, I might work on compacting this thing, but anyways, I'll show the concepts now. So this is the flying machine. So as you can see, I can bring it up like this, and then I can bring it back down like that. So how this works is basically extends the poles so it's longer so as you can see two sticky clippings is that and the goes the same way so how you make this it's basically an observer facing up three slimer honey blocks here piston observer facing upward on top of that piston the arrow should be facing upward and sticky piston three slime blocks or honey blocks on top of that sticky piston facing downward here observer which arrows downward here and then observer with arrow downward here and this observer arrow upward and that piston arrow upward so that's how the flying machines basically work okay so yeah i decided to get rid of the minecraft music because it was a bit annoying anyway now we're going to see how the trapdoor works. So this was, the trapdoor wasn't created by me, it was created by Ben the Human, as I said. So it's basically like, um, it's an improved version of the 4x4 trapdoor I, I did it as my second video. Like, instead of 4x4, it's 4x12. And so basically how this works is uh, these are the double piston extenders. Then it powers this circuit, so which powers this. So then this since this powers later, you need this observer to tick it. So then to like make it um, go back. And then here this actually pulses this thingy which has a long delay going into these hoppers that go into the flying machine that well flies and then when it comes back down it just comes here and turns off the flying machine. okay so now for the top section oh my god see this so this is basically another flying machine. Well, they're all flying machines, to be honest. That basically just push um, the door downwards. And then to make them go back up, we fire this circuit. So this is on as soon as it's turned on and then turns off. This basically, the piston just turn off and that updates the observers to go back up so as you can see this is an entire flying machine so basically when this is powered it powers this up here so it powers this and that sends the flying machine down and then it powers down here which basically power some these and then that powers the bottom circuit that I just described 
And then this basically makes it so that when this piston is pushed, this piston pushes back. Now you may be like, why do you need two pistons there? Well, that's because, see, when these flying machines come back up, we need a way to send them down. But how do you know when to send them down? That's what the complicated part about the top circuit is. See, when the flying machines come back, it puts this, which allows this thingy, this contraption thingy to come here. As obviously, if it were to come here as this were as this were coming, this would pull this observer and ruin everything. So, when this fires, so then it'll detect when all of this comes back here because that means that the flying machine pushed it up, which means the flying machine's at the top, which means it's time to send it down to the bottom. So, it just fires this line of three redstone repeaters then pulses down here and powers this piston so that's basically okay the so that's basically it for the entire door so i'm gonna compact this soon and if you have any comments on how i could compact this or make it faster or do anything good to it maybe even make it in sync eh? Sorry, in sync, isn't it? Well, if you have any ideas to uh, making this better, just um, comment it. Okay, comment section is enabled now. And please like and subscribe. And bye. I'll see you in the next video.